All right, here's your legal warning. I am not responsible for what you do to your truck by watching my videos. If you follow my videos, your truck's likely to start blowing bubbles out the tailpipe. So, okay, so piston seven is right on this side over here. Um, I'm gonna put the crankshaft up a little bit, move my hand in here. You can also use like a pry bar or something like that. And you should be able to just slide the piston in with your hand. Shouldn't need anything else. All right, so uh, it's on there. I don't know if you can see on the side of that piston like I can, but it has the numbers 6871 on it, which match up with that side of this 6871. So that is the correct orientation for the rod. Um, I already have the bearing in there. It's already lubed. You saw all that. So we're just tightening these down by hand. And let's start knocking these pistons out. All right, <clears throat> all right. So this is where we're gonna now check the clearance on the rod bearings, and uh, the the torque on those is going to be 33 foot pounds and then 50 foot pounds. Um, and we'll check the uh, plastic gauge, and once that is done, we'll torque down all the bolts, and we'll start putting down the bottom of the engine here. Um, and I'll be right back. All right. Um, according to this Navistar. Uh, service manual here by International. Um, the connecting rod running clearance is 0 .0203 to 0 .0837. Um, so my plastic gauge here is a 0 .025 to 0 .076. So the, the parameter is a slightly out side of uh, my plastic gauge just like for my um, when I plastic gauge the others. So if it's anywhere in the center of this, it's completely fine. So we're gonna uh, plastic gauge these real quick and uh, I'll be right back. So we're gonna slap a couple of pieces of plastic gauge on here. Um, be perfectly honest with you guys, I'm not gonna do all eight of these. I'm gonna do just these two right here. Um, see what that comes out as. Because uh, with this rebuild, everything standard is going back in and everything else has been within spec, so I don't expect it to be out of spec. All right, so we got a couple of pieces on there. Let's tear this off so we have us a, a measurement guide. Um, get my torque wrench. I need uh, an 11 millimeter for uh, those bolts because those are 11 millimeter. All right, um, so the connecting rods are gonna be uh, torqued in two stages. It's going to be uh, 33 and then 50. So I need to go up to 33 on here. All right, we're on 33, okay. Fifty. Fifty foot pounds. Oh shit. Alright. Okay, let me bring you over here so you can see. And uh, just as I suspected, 
Okay, you can see the plastic gauge on both of those connecting rods. That's on each side, driver's side and passenger side, right? Um, so that white one is a .038, and it looks pretty close to both of those. So I'm going to call the rest of them good. I am going to rotate the engine. I'll put it on a time lapse. Um, I'm going to bring all of the bolts back out, blow out the holes, and uh, put some ARP assembly lube on them and retorque them down, and I'll be back. Oh, a side note, guys. Uh, this timing wheel right here, I never mentioned it before, but you do not want to damage any of the teeth on this because if you damage the teeth on this, you might as well just throw your crankshaft away. Much like a ham sandwich, you can't screw these up because one's really long and one's really short. You try to put the really long one in this one and it won't go in, <laughs> then it obviously goes in the other sensor hole. And I'll show you where those are right now. Okay, so this is the front of the block and this thing's magnetic. Um, crankshaft, if you look in the little hole right there, you can see the teeth of that crankshaft. That's going to be, guess what? Crankshaft position sensor right there <laughs> all right and the other one really long guy going to be your camshaft position sensor so actually i'm going to lube up that o-ring um do the same thing on the other one then i'll be putting these back in but you see where it's at like on the front of the block also on the other side there's your cam position sensor because like if you look right there is the front of your cam so that's pointing down at your cam all right, I'll be right back. So the crank position sensor and the cam position sensor are both eight millimeters. Um, I don't know what the torque spec is on it. Give me a second. I'll run over there and look, but they're sensors. You don't have to put the nuts on them. Um, I would say good and snug hand tight would probably do it just fine. I mean, let's be honest. This is a 6.0. You're going to be tearing it apart and working on it again in three months anyway. Okay, so um, I'm sticking in the new O-ring on this uh, bed plate here. Um, I have it upside down. It goes like this. Um, so I got that O-ring in. Now I need to get this O-ring in. And uh, the O-ring has a tab right here where you can take and you match up the tab to the tab location right here. It's like a little rounded piece that sits in there like off to the side to let you know the orientation of the of the, the o-ring here. Um, so the o-ring tab, like replacing all the o-rings can be a bit daunting. Um, just take it one at a time because these don't come with instructions. I'm not a mechanic and you're probably not a mechanic either if you're watching this. Um, you just have to, and they're not labeled. None of the bags are labeled. So you have, you have to just kind of like take it slowly and have patience and and find the correct ones that go in the correct spots um so i mean if there was one thing that i could wish for that they would change i wish that they would spend the extra two dollars or whatever it might be to have them print the labels on each individual bag as to what they go to and what they do but uh you know that's my rant and thanks for coming to my ted talks all right so uh i'm gonna finish putting this o-ring in here right um and then I will be grabbing my, uh, my T31 RTV sealant from Motorcraft and I will be throwing an outside bead on this, I think. So uh, let me get this gasket in, continue to get this gasket in here and uh, I'll, be, I'll be back. To be perfectly honest with you, uh, I'm just going to tighten these down hand tight with blue lock tight on them. Uh, 
And I'm also using a small wrench to tighten these with because the longer your wrench is, the more torque you can put on something without even realizing it. So use a small, tiny wrench. Or if you're using a big, long wrench, what I do is I'll hold it like that and then just use the head of the wrench to tighten it where I'm not using my hand all the way back here on the torque or on the wrench. So kind of helps you not over torque stuff. All right, um, next. All right, so we are gonna grab the oil pan. Uh, we need to get a new O-ring and the oil pickup tube. So let me go grab those and I will be right back. All right, so before you install this, you wanna um, inspect your uh, pickup tube. Uh, is inspect the metal mesh here, make sure there's no large holes. 